Welcome to Dotcom's tutorial on adding logos to your website. Are you looking to step up your branding but unsure of how to do it? Dotcom has an interactive elements library that you can leverage to add the required branding elements. In this tutorial, let's see how to add a logo to your website. Go to the desired theme page in your Dotcom account and click Elements. Drag and drop the logo element to the design canvas. Hover over the dropped element. Logo element, container column, container row. 1. Logo element Click the edit icon on the logo element. The customization panel loads on your screen's right side with the three tabs, content, style, and advanced. Let's start with the content tab first. Here, you can either set an image or text as a logo. To add an image, click on the edit icon. You can upload an image from your computer. Please note that the maximum size of the image should not exceed 5 megabytes. Now, adjust the alignment for different screen types, desktop, tablet, or mobile as left aligned, center aligned, or right aligned for each screen type. Switch to the Style tab. If you have selected image as a logo in the Content tab, you can alter the size and opacity of the logo. Next, customize the box shadow value of the logo. If you have selected text as a logo, you can adjust the opacity. Switch to the Advanced tab. Here, you can adjust the margin, padding, and width of the logo element for different screen type. Further, without any coding assistance, you can fill in the Z-Index, CSS ID, and CSS classes. Next, expand the background section. Here, you can configure the background parameters of the logo element in normal mode and the hover effect. Select the Normal tab. Here you can set the background type as color or image. Along with that, you can set the radius and box shadow values. Click the Hover tab to perform similar customizations. Now, expand the border section. Here, you can customize the border type, border color, and border width for normal and hover modes separately. The next section in this tab is visibility where you get to hide this element on desktop, tablet, or mobile screens with the swipe of a toggle. 2. Container Column the container column denotes the vertical section of the container. To edit it, click the edit icon. Go to the content tab. Here, adjust the different column parameters like column width, column gap, and alignment for different screen types. Switch to the style tab. It has two modes, normal and hover. Here, you can customize different style parameters for the background and border for each mode separately. Under the Advanced tab, customize the margin, padding, and visibility of the container column. 3. Container Row Hover over the Edit icon and click it. Like the container column, you can customize the content, style, and advanced settings here. Select the Content tab. Here, you can adjust the content width, height, row gap, column position, vertical align, and HTML tag. Switch to the Style tab. It has Normal and Hover tabs. Under each mode, configure the background and border customizations of the container row. Navigate to the Advanced tab. Here, you can customize the margin and padding. You can also add the CSS ID and CSS classes here. Configure the responsive. Finally, adjust the visibility on different screens, desktop, tablet, and mobile. In addition to the above customizations, you can also carry out general customizations on your logo element. Here, you can change the position of the element, add new containers, or delete the element with the click of a button. Save the changes and click Preview to see the updated design. We'll be back with more helpful tutorials to help you with designing your website. If you have any queries or concerns, please reach out to our implementation specialist or contact our support team for further assistance. Thank you for watching.